So today I want to talk about the biggest challenge, I might even complain a little bit, the biggest challenge about not living in a tropical climate. Let's set the record straight. Human beings, the human species is a tropical animal. This is obvious to anyone who thinks about it, really. Uh, you know, if we were if we were adapted to this climate, if we were adapted to uh, Norway, uh, Europe, North America, anywhere outside the tropics, if we were adapted to that, we wouldn't have to put on clothing. We wouldn't have to close the door and live inside houses. We wouldn't have to use heating to survive. Uh, the tropics is the only place where we can stay year round without clothes, essentially. Not just anywhere, of course, if you're up on a mountain, even though you're in the tropics, you won't really do very well. So it's not just about being in the tropics, it's about being in an appropriate place in the tropics. It can also be too hot in the tropics, some places, of course. And, and during the summer, in, uh, even outside the tropics, it's possible to live there quite healthily, if not very healthfully. So I'm not saying that it's just as black and white as tropics or not, but uh, biologically speaking, we are adapted to a tropical climate. That being said, we are also humans, which means we have a mind and we can, we can imagine things. We can make plans and we have dreams and we have, we're curious. And thank God, I, I love that fact about uh, human, um, humanness. I love my human experience. And part of that experience is to go traveling and explore places that are beyond our biological capacity. So we, we explored the world, we went out of Africa, we went out of where we orin originated and we went into as far as Norway and further even. And here we are, humans established way outside the tropics, way outside our natural habitat, still living a fairly happy life, right? Uh, we do that by using tools like clothing, like houses, like um, heating. Uh, and we do lots of other things too that we need tools for. We need shoes to walk around uh, because uh, in the winter especially because it's cold on the ground. Um, we use cars to get around maybe. Uh, skis when we walk on the snow. You know, the, the, we use tools. That's the thing about humans. We use lots of tools. Now, what I wanted to touch on today was the biggest challenge, the thing that bothers me the most when I'm outside of a tropical climate is having to stay indoors, being inside a house. Yes, bogged down by clothing, that's also another thing, Ugh, all the clothing, um, but also the fact that uh, you're inside the house. And the thing is, I'm okay with being inside the house. In fact, I enjoy it. I like a house. Uh, I prefer that over living just like out without any form of shelter. I don't see why we would need to do that. You know, uh, making many animals make shelters. It's a natural process for us to build a roof over our head and a little bit of protection against the wind and all that. Uh, so I quite enjoy houses, but I enjoy them as long as the door can stay open, as long as the windows can be open, as long as there's an airflow coming through. There's several reasons there's the airflow coming through and there's also the sounds of the birds of the wind which makes it less sterile because when you close the door which you have to do at certain times of the year because it's simply too cold outside um, you not only create a cl a, the indoor air climate which is not healthy because there's things coming off, there's gases coming off the materials, there are gases coming off the paint. Uh, these things are polluting. There's also all the dust. And then there's the lack of oxygen, lack of fresh air. So in winter, I find this, it's difficult to strike that balance between keeping the heat in, keeping it warm and comfortable so I don't have to wear a jacket inside, and at the same time, airing it out enough to get enough oxygen in and eventually it gets so cold that that balance is impossible to strike. You have to keep it pretty much closed all day long, uh, which creates terrible air quality inside. There's a ways around it, I'm sure. But um, anyway, these are th this is probably the biggest challenge. And like right now, it's August. It's August. So it's not it's not winter. But Norway, you know, it's it's getting towards autumn and it's probably about 15 degrees outside right now. 
15 degrees Celsius. So, you know, it's not cold. I can go outside, it's no problem. Um, and in fact, I should probably keep that door open right now. It's not, it's okay. Um, but uh, having it closed this morning just because it was a little bit chilly made me sort of think about that a little bit and realize how it was for me during the winters growing up and how it's been for me the last few years, the times that I have been in Norway during the cold periods of the year. Uh, and I'd say that's, that's really the biggest challenge. That's really the, the, the main thing that draws me away from this uh, climate during the winter half of the year. And of course, it's not that you can't go outside because of course you can be outside. I'm gonna go for a run. Uh, you can go for a walk. You can be outside lots and work in the garden, whatever. It's not biting cold. And you can do that year round by putting on a, enough clothing. And I recommend you do that too. If you are in a climate like this, get outside every single day, get that fresh air, get that sunlight. Even if there's, it's overcast, just get some daylight, you know, uh, get some movement. And then it's much easier to cope when you are inside the house. Uh, but yes, I'm complaining a little bit. That's, that's, this is a challenge. This is a challenge living in a place where you have to close yourself off from nature, uh, put yourself, put clothing on your body. I like to be light, minimal clothing outside and inside, but just keeping that link with, with, uh, with the fresh air, with the earth, with the birds and the flowers <laughs> and the bees. So, yes, I guess it's just a little rant, really. Um, but uh, for, for the end of this video, a little bit of positive advice. Um, get outside, like I just said, no matter what, get outside every day. And I do highly recommend that you go somewhere tropical for the winter, really. Because the tropics is the only place where we can truly thrive as human beings where the fruit is excellent and it's fresh and it's delicious and it's nutritious uh, and, and ripe and uh, where the sun is strong enough to produce enough vitamin d because that's another problem of course as we progress through the year here in norway uh, we're coming to a point where there's not enough the strength in the sun isn't strong enough or the angle of the sun isn't uh, such that it's uh, producing enough vitamin d which is a big problem so, uh, you know, get out of the, wherever you are, go traveling, go traveling for part of the year. If it's just a few weeks or if it's a month or a couple of months, or even as much as three, four, five or six months, half the year, uh, go to that tropical climate. Uh, that's something I highly recommend, or at least subtropical climate, which is halfway there and can still be sufficient. So uh, you can check out our ebook, of course, about traveling. I'll put a link to it here. Uh, where we talk about how to do that, how to pack your backpack and how to make it happen in your life in general, because sometimes it can be difficult to arrange such a, such a thing. Anyway, so do check that out for tips on traveling. And in the meantime, you know, do the best you can coping. And, uh, you know, I'll watch this video back myself and then I'll, give, uh, I'll take it as advice for myself because we all need, including myself, we all need that encouragement and, 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 and also to know that there are others out there in the same situation. So I know your pain, you know, if you're not in the tropics, which probably most of you guys are not, if you're, if you're in a similar climate like I am here, um, I know how you feel about it. I know that, that indoors feeling, that kind of darkish, quiet, so quiet, so it's like dead quiet. When you close the door, it's just dead quiet, except for the fridge. Uh, and it's a bit too quiet, I find. So I, I do know how that feels. And the solution is basically, there's really no solution <laughs> except going to the tropics, but you can cope with it by getting outdoors every single day, moving your body, uh, doing something during the middle of the day, uh, and not just sort of hanging around in the house, walking around bored. Uh, if you're bored, get out there, you know, put on some clothing or whatever you need to do, go out for a long walk or go for a run or, take the bus somewhere. I mean, just do something. Don't stay stuck inside the house. And then of course, when it comes to airing out, make sure you find that balance between getting that fresh air inside the house, uh, yet keeping it warm enough so you don't have to have too many clothes on. It's a balance. All right. I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching as always. Thanks a lot to all the Patreon supporters. Really appreciate that support. 
Uh, if you're interested in joining a Patreon, there's a link in the description down below. We share uh, monthly Q&A videos for patrons only. And we also have a live hangout where you can talk to us live in the questions and comments and that sort of thing. Enjoy your day. Make the best out of it. Go to the tropics when it gets too bad. Uh, and enjoy uh, whatever is good. Because there's always something good. Even when everything sucks, there's always something good as well. See you around. Thank you.